Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at IG-11 and the Child with Speeder Bike from Star Wars Mission Fleet. Uh, this is a new set, this is a Target exclusive, and it's kind of a mashup of other sets that have already come out. We've seen IG-11 in that kind of five pack of Mandalorian figures, and the Speeder Bike is also in another set in the same wave that's not an exclusive that comes with a Scout Trooper. So this is kind of a hodgepodge of other sets kind of put together to make this Target exclusive. But you do get this adorable baby Yoda in this satchel that he can kind of wear around from that scene where they were, uh, they tasked him with, you know, protecting the child at all costs. And so he kind of wore him on his chest and just went around blasting everyone to keep him safe. So it's a fun set. It's definitely probably not something you 100% need, especially if you've already bought the speeder bike with Scout Trooper set and you have IG-11 from that five pack. Really, the only thing new you're getting here is this this baby Yoda, but I could always use an extra IG-11 to kind of make into an IG-88. Speeder bikes, also, I feel like I can use more than one as I get more clone troopers and whatnot, stormtroopers, scout troopers, etc. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't pass up the adorable little baby Yoda. I mean, come on, I'm only human. Uh, so we take a look at the top. They show you other ones in this size class, in this wave. And you do have uh, the Ugnat guy riding the Blurg, or whatever those things are called from that episode and then it looks like again we're just getting that speeder bike with mando and the child from the first wave just getting uh, reissued because they're just going all in on mandalorian right now because go with what works right i guess that's the hot ticket right now so taking a look here on the back this is all actual size and it shows you everything that's included you get the bike you get the missile launcher with the projectile you get the droid with the two guns and then the child in the satchel papoose i don't know whatever you want to call this thing uh, but this is all actual size on the back here, which is kind of neat. So, uh, very cool little set. I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the box here and we're going to take a closer look. So here's everything you get in this set. We have IG-11 with the child in this little bag. Uh, it's kind of hilarious, but he is absolutely adorable. Now you can put it on the front if you want. You can see it just goes over very easily. Or you can put it on the back if you want him to wear it like a backpack instead whatever you prefer and he does come with two guns he's got kind of a standard stormtrooper blaster and then kind of a more heavy duty rifle blaster he has a swivel for head articulation he has a hinge and a rotation in the shoulder uh, he does have wrist articulation but the arm is one solid piece and then he's got individual leg rotation and he also has a waist swivel which is something that most of uh these size figures do not have i think it's so that that one episode where he literally just swivels around and shoots all of the stormtroopers you can recreate that so that's fun and then he does have peg holes on the bottom of the feet so i want to do a comparison real quick this is the ig11 from the five pack and you can see that the head is painted well no i guess it's pretty much the same but he has the uh, dual bandoliers here and then this guy has no bandoliers. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same figure. Now, I was thinking about this. I looked up what IG-88 looks like. And it's very similar, but he only has one bandolier. I think it goes either from this side. I think it's this side. So what I was thinking is, if we bring in Chewbacca, and we take his bandolier off, which I believe you can do without too much difficulty. Yes, there we go. And then we go ahead and we'll take this off. And I don't remember offhand which side he wears this on. But you could give him the one bandolier. And then you would have a fairly decent IG-88. So with just a little bit of customization there, you could have an IG-11 and an IG-88. Of course, that means I would have to find another Chewbacca. And of course, those are all, you know, sold out now. I used to see millions of them on the racks, never thought to get a second one. Now, when I could actually use a second one, they've all disappeared. But, I mean, I think that's decent enough to, you know, because the bandoliers are so different that even though the figure underneath is pretty much exactly the same, you know, you could say one is IG-88 and one's IG-11. So, just a little bit of fun there. A little bit of, uh, I wouldn't even say customization, kit bashing maybe, we'll say. Let me take these guys out here so I don't confuse the releases get uh, Chewie's bandolier back on him over here so anyway that's it for IG-11 and we've already taken a look at the child so let's go ahead and dive into the speeder bike here 
Now, as you can see, it's very stark white. It's probably throwing the white balance of the video off a little bit, so I apologize. It has this giant uh, projectile launcher. This is pretty much the play pattern for Mission Fleet. Just about every release um, from the $15 price point onward comes with one of these missile launchers. So you can mix and match. The, the connection port is the same. You can see it's got three places you can connect it. So if you have missile launchers from other sets, you could load this up, plug in all three, you can mix and match, you can move them around. So any of these missile launchers, the missiles should all be compatible and the ports should all be compatible so you can mix and match. And they, you know, fire pretty well, spring loaded. You just load it in and then press the button and it fires pretty well. So I'm gonna take it off though because I like the look of the speeder bike on its own. So this is essentially one of the speeder bikes from like Return of the Jedi. But when they use it in the Mandalorian, I guess because they're on Tatooine, they had white ones, I guess, to blend in better with the sand. That's my guess. Not 100% on that. And then we just go ahead and put him on here while he's hanging out with the child. And it actually fits perfectly. Uh, the feet line up pretty well. I mean, he doesn't have a way to hold on, really, because he's got two guns. But the child kind of sits there perfectly, so it looks great. Really, really fun. I like that a lot. I think this is a really fun release. I mean, yes, it's mostly things that you might already have because they've been released previously. I don't have the separate release of this with the Scout Trooper yet. I have one on the way to me. So when that does come and I do review that, I'll bring this one back to show them off. I'm pretty sure they're just about identical, but I will do a comparison uh, when that comes in. I just don't have it yet. But it's a nice looking speeder bike. You know, you can't hurt to have more than one. Uh, you have another IG-11, which again, if you already have the one from the 5-pack, there's kind of an easy way to customize it to make it look like IG-88, which I think I'm definitely going to do. And then you just have the little baby Yoda in a little backpack, and that's absolutely adorable. I did want to do real quick a little comparison uh, with like one of the other uh, child releases that we've had. So, I mean, that's just super cute. Come on, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with extra gro Grogu in your life, right? I will say, though, that when you put the backpack on him, if you want to put the guns out, it does make him very front-heavy, and he wants to fall over quite a bit. So you kind of have to figure out how to balance that weight. But otherwise, it's a fun little release. I really like everything here. Even if you already have most of it, I still think it's at least made up of things that it doesn't hurt to have extras of, for the reasons I've stated. And, uh, you know, super adorable little baby out in a backpack. What else do you need? So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.